let's hop right into this tutorial my brows are already done to save us some time next I'm going to be priming my face using this hard candy um, sheer envy stick it to pores primer which is a drugstore primer if you don't know by now I absolutely love this stuff I think it was like three bucks at Walmart I believe so I'm gonna prime like my t-zone area for sure around my mouth and chin all right so next we're going to prime the eyes i'm going to be using my nars radiant creamy concealer in the shade caramel i'm just going to put this on the back of my hand like this and i'm going to be using like a flat synthetic brush something that looks like this and i'm just going to apply this concealer all over my eyes and this is going to be um the eyeshadow base and what this does is just like enhance the color of the eyeshadow colors that we're going to be using today. And then it just gives you an overall even skin tone as well. And it helps the eyeshadow stick too. Very important to prime your eyes, especially when you're using color. So I just put that all over. I'm going to be using my Morphe M173 brush. And I'm just going to just buff it. Basically just tapping it to make sure that it's um, just an even layer. I'm not going to really buff it in small circles, so I'm just doing that. Okay, so it's going to look a little something like this, alright? So it's like a smooth canvas for us. So, let's hop right into the color. I'm going to be using um, this Natasha Denona Tropic Palette. And I'm going to be going in with Sangria. So it's going to be like this pink color right here. And I'm going to be taking my Morphe E23 brush, which is like a fluffy brush. I'm going to dab that right into there like that, like that. So I'm going to put this right into my crease. Can you guys see? And I'm just going to really... Just intensify this color in my crease and then just make sure you blend at the same time okay so I pretty much built this color it's like a nice like uh, what would you call this like a warm I don't know I'm not that good at explaining colors like a warm pink <laughs> like almost a dark fuchsia pink is that what I'm trying to say I don't know so next I'm going to be taking my Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette and I'm going to be taking the shade Amethyst, I believe that's how you say it. It's going to be this purple color right here and I'm going to use like a smaller fluffy brush, something that's not as dense and this one is from Coastal Scents and this is the number BR250. So I'm just going to take that shade dust off the excess and put this right in my crease just to define it a little more so yeah we're just gonna stick this color right into our crease then you're gonna also drag this out too so make sure there's no harsh lines also build this color up as well You're gonna go back with the fluffy brush you use for the pink and then you're just going to blend the top and make sure there are there are no harsh lines, sorry. Trust me, we're gonna look like something in a minute. So next, we're not gonna do a cut crease, okay? It's not a cut crease, we're gonna go back into the concealer and just add a little bit more on our lid so our next eyeshadow color can pop a little more so we're gonna start from the bottom I mean from the end in the bottom <laughs> okay like so 
All right. So next, we're gonna be taking this wild color in Tiger Lily. It's so pretty. It's gonna be this blue shade right here. Ooh, focus. Focus on me. All right, so it's gonna be this blue shade right here. And we're gonna put this, let me just show you. Right here. All the way to the midpoint of our lid. And we're just gonna pat this color on and stop when you get to the middle. I need to get some um, brush clean off. So we're gonna take that fluffy brush that we used to do the purple with, and then we're just gonna use that same brush and then just blend that and make sure there are no harsh edges. All right, so next, this tutorial is gonna seem like all over the place, but it comes together at the end, just trust me. So next in the Huda palette, where's my eyeshadow brush? We're gonna be taking Twilight. And I'm gonna be taking this color on the inner part of my lid all the way to the outer part, okay? With the same eyeshadow brush. Porque? See how that looks blue? Yes. All the way to the middle part. The blue kind of just acted like a base for this effect. All right, so next is gonna be, wow, bruh. You're gonna take Turkish Delight. This color right here, this cranberry color. You're gonna take the same eyeshadow brush and you're gonna place this in the middle. In the middle, yeah? Yeah. Probably like, Fire, what are you doing? Just, just swatch, okay? This is pretty cute. Just trust me, okay? Trust me. And you're just gonna blend the outer edges with the other colors. I'm gonna go back in with like a little bit more Twilight because I don't want that pop to go anywhere. It's a fun look, so why not, you know? Oh, let me see you go. All right. I'm gonna be taking the Naked Palette. This is the Smoky Naked Palette by Urban Decay. And I'm just gonna be using one color because I couldn't find this in any of my other eyeshadow palettes. I'm gonna be using Smolder, which is like a really, really deep purple color. And I'm gonna be taking my Morphe E28 brush, which is another fluffy brush. And I'm going to be smoking out the outer corners of this look so just keeping the focus of this color on the outer V I bet you guys are like oh, okay I see a little something it's kind of coming together now kind of see the vision you know what I'm saying but um yes I put on my eyeliner I use my NYX matte liquid liner this is my holy grail it's amazing Next, I'm gonna be putting on my lashes. I forgot the name of them, but I will leave everything in the description box, so make sure you check that out. Also, I'm gonna be using my favorite glue, the Star Glue, which is a Korean eyelash glue. So I'm gonna put on my lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, so lashes are on. Lashes make a difference. If you plan on wearing this look, make sure you wear something that's like flirty and wispy. I feel like that will look best with this look. So yes, let's hop right into the skin, shall we? I'm gonna be using the J Manual um, Filter Finish Skin Perfector Foundation in Deep Filter number two. And then I'm gonna be using my new velvet sponge. I should just apply it onto my face. Let me do that first. All right, so I'm gonna apply this with my hands first, and then I'm gonna blend it in with the sponge. I really like this foundation. If you like full coverage, this will be your friend. Trust me, Danny. Trust me, Danny. All right. I'll look a pickle, but you guys know the drill already. So I'm gonna take 
this velvet sponge, makeup sponge, and I'm gonna blend out this foundation. Yo, it's gotta get that forehead, girl. Always get the forehead because you don't want her looking a pickle. Now, what is this? Okay. You don't want to be looking like a pickle, period. If you don't know what a pickle is, a pickle, like looking like a pickle is like a complete fool. If you did know by now. And it's okay if some eyeshadow colors are underneath the eye. It's going to be covered anyway. Okay, so. <laughs> this sponge really does give you full coverage. I mean, like, it does not soak up the product like other sponges. Oh my gosh. I probably didn't even have to use that much. Let me go in with the brush, girl. Because <laughs> this foundation is on. Let me blend her out, sis. Blend and matte her out. Ooh, child. Okay. That sponge is the truth. Okay, uh, forehead hairs. You playing me right now? Ooh, child. You playing me? In front of company. You playing me. Okay, it's gonna work out. But it feels better. Look how much foundation is on my brush. It was a clean brush. This sponge does not play. I didn't need all of that. I'm used to using it a lot because... You know, certain brushes or other products soak up a lot of the foundation. But I'm just used to applying it with. You know, any applicator that I use, but. Sis. Okay, sponge. All right, so next I'm gonna be going in with the concealer. I'm gonna be using my J Manual uh, Filter Finish Photo Illusion Concealer in the shade Airbrush Cocoa. I have used this before, I got a new tube. You guys should already know that this is my jam as well. Some of you girls are probably clutching your pearls right now, but this look is gonna come together. Have faith in me. Please, I really like this applicator. Cause you can just blend out the concealer with the cooling under eye applicator. It's so cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, girl, I'm gonna take the same sponge now. <laughs> and we're gonna blend under this eye. Now I'm mad at myself for using that much foundation because I already need another tube. And I could have used like one third of what I actually used on my face. So I'm upset. I really love the foundation and concealer part of makeup. I don't know why. It's just therapeutic to me, I guess. I'm just going to be taking the remainder of the concealer. Y'all, this sponge does not play. Let me find out. This is like the full review that I'm doing now. And I already had the review of it. Y'all, this sponge does not play. Okay, these hairs are playing with me. But this sponge does not play. Like, I'm using the remainder of the concealer on my forehead. Wow. She's amazing. Wow. 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 Can we say wow? Wow. All right, so I'm gonna be using my Morphe M173 brush and then just really getting up underneath that eye. Make sure it's blended to perfection. All in that inner corner around the nose, in the crevice of the, of the nose. Sis is serving cake face right now, it's okay. I like it. Next is the contouring part. I'm gonna be using my J Manual contour stick and the color tan. Tan? Tan? All right, so I'm gonna be using my MAC Duo Fiber Brush. I believe this number says 103. I don't know, it's a small one. The number's kind of rubbed off. 
It's gonna be taking a little bit of that like that. A little bit of that like that, like that. Like that, like that. And I'm going to be contouring my cheeks. This, I have chipmunk. What was I about to say? Cause that was not forming into the word chipmunk at all. I have chipmunk cheeks. I've always had these. So we're just going to slim her down a bit. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to be slimming down the double chin area right here, okay? So, yes, so I'm gonna take the contour stick oh, and go right under there like that. It's like, a, it's like we're doing surgery right now. Oh, all right. A little bit surgery, a little bit surgery. It's day surgery. You'll recover in no time. Take the same brush, blend it out. Make it look like we got one of those um, contour injection type of things. Which I'm really interested in. Have you guys heard about that? I'm really interested. It's like a con injectable contour. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know the term. I, have to, I haven't done my research, but... If you guys know what I'm talking about, then you know. I'm gonna be using my Fenty Matchstick in Caramel. We're gonna be doing the reverse contour to just clean it up right here. I didn't bring my other brush. Okay, I'm gonna be using my Morphe M439 brush. And it looks like this. I'm sorry, I didn't show you guys. It's a fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna blend this out. All right, I'm gonna blend out where the contour is with the remaining of the concealer. <laughs> Cause it just didn't look blended enough for me. Okay. Just make sure everything looks good, okay? Do what you have to do and make sure everything looks Gucci. All right. So next we're going to set under the eyes. I'm going to be using my Ben Nye Banana Powder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to be using my um, Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush. But I'm going to be using this to set under my eye with. With the Ben Nye Banana Powder. Time to mattify, honey. And I want to get up all in those creases. I'm going to also do my T-zone right here. I'm going to also do my chin while we're here. Smell lines. I'm going to also do my contour, my reverse contour, just to set it in place. Gonna also do tip of my nose because I haven't contoured that yet. I don't know if I will. Maybe I don't need to today. Alrighty. Hopefully I'm not rambling in this video. But I know I am. Okay, so this seems like a lot of makeup today. Wow, I'm like proud of myself because I normally do like minimal looks, but we're here. Okay, so I'm gonna be contouring with uh, uh, MAC blush and raisin. I'm gonna be using the Sigma SS168 brush, which is a contouring brush. And I'm gonna do this like this right here. You see that like that? I'm gonna do that like that on both sides like this. You see that like that? I think I'm getting a cold, I hope not. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I do not need a cold again. Cause that one cold took me out. <gasps> Something's in my eye. It was a piece of hair. Yeah, I really like the blush look. 
It's very fetch. It's very like Barbie looking. I've been trying like different blush techniques as well. And I just always dig it. All right, next we're going to be doing our under eye color. It feels like it's a lot of foundation on my lips. Savvy. Let me wipe this off real quick. See, every time I wipe my lips and it looks like I just drunk like some red something, Kool-Aid or something. Okay, so underneath our eye, we're gonna go back in with Tiger Lily, which is this cute blue color. And we're just gonna smoke out our lower lash line with this color, okay? You can choose any color you want. You can do the purple, whatever you choose to do. I'm gonna do Tiger Lily. Why is this brush so rough? Okay, I'm gonna be using, let me see. Let me just play with a couple of colors real quick. I'm gonna be using that purple, then we're using our crease. Yes, this is working. Okay, and then next for the inner part, I'm gonna be going back in with Twilight, which is that purple color that we used in our inner corner. And then just drag that on my outer corner. And in my inner corner again. All right. This is very Barbie vibes. I'm gonna be using my J Manual eyeliner pencil in Wicked, which is just a black creamy eyeliner pencil, and I'm gonna be lining my waterline. Ooh, child. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. You better not. You better not. Ugh. Okay. I'm gonna be putting a what? Oh. Is there something in my eye? All right, it's just tripping. <laughs> All right, so put the mascara on your bottom lashes. I really don't have bottom lashes. I really wish, I mean, I have some, but they're not like noticeable even with mascara, and I don't really want eyelash extensions on my bottom lash, so I'm just gonna have to deal with it. But if you have like long bottom lashes, like that would look so dope. But us girls with short lashes have to do what we have to do, don't we? Make that mascara work for us. Work for us. All right, lip time. I'm going to be using my J Manual Potent. Lip pencil. This is like a brown lip liner. And blend that in. Okay, then I'm going to be using one of my go to MAC lipsticks in faux. Okay, now I'm gonna be taking MAC Lip Gloss in Angel and putting this right on the center. A little gloss never hurt nobody. Hey. A little gloss never hurt nobody. Girl, and we're done. Wow. I really like this look. I think I'm gonna call it like Cosmic, I don't know. I don't know, it's like, it's giving me like starry vibes. You know, all this meshing of color together. I like it, like, the lip color, like a nudish pink it came together. The eyes popping, lashes popping. We did this. Give yourself a round of applause. We did it and it's cute. I know some of you probably lost faith in certain steps of this whole process, but I'm glad you stuck with me because look at what we did. 
it's cute and it turned out really cute like always have faith in me please always <laughs> I'm loving it thank you guys so much for watching I truly appreciate it I say this every time I really do appreciate you your view your comment your just engagement with me just your support all of that I truly do appreciate it if you are new make sure to hit that subscribe button today and join the garden and if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and let me know so I can continue making more yeah continue making more <laughs> And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Or can never be serious for too long.